Welcome to Digital AP Testing. For some students, taking a Digital AP exam in school is new. So let's learn more about Digital AP exams and the testing experience. This year, AP exams will include digital exams students take on the Blue Book testing app, exams that use other digital technology, and paper exams that require secure audio. 16 AP courses will be fully digital. Students take the entire exam in Blue Book, completing both multiple choice and free response questions. When the exam ends, Blue Book automatically submits their answers. 12 AP Math, Science, and Social Science courses will be hybrid digital. Students complete Section 1 multiple choice questions in Blue Book, and when the exam ends, those answers are automatically submitted. For Section 2, they view free response questions in Blue Book, but handwrite their answers in paper exam booklets. In this video, we will take a close look at the exam experience for the 16 fully digital AP exams. Check AP Central for additional resources about the hybrid digital AP exam experience. On exam day, students taking a digital AP exam will launch Blue Book from their testing device. Blue Book is the same app used by students who take the SAT and PSAT related assessments. For AP testing, students must remember and manually enter their College Board account information to sign into Blue Book. Saved passwords on their devices will not work. Once logged in, they follow a check in process and the proctor's instructions to begin the exam. Note Students will be given blank scratch paper at the beginning of the exam they can use during the exam to help them solve multiple choice questions or outline or plan their free response answers. Most digital AP exams consist of two sections and some include a part within the section. In these exams, each section and part is timed separately with a 10 minute break between the sections. So, what does the exam experience look like for a student taking a fully digital AP exam? Let's begin with Section 1 Multiple Choice and use AP English Literature and Composition as our example. Section directions are at the top left of each testing screen. Track your battery usage with the indicator at the top right. A timer will count down the time remaining in the section. If you want, you can hide the timer. It will reopen during the last five minutes of the section. You can skip ahead or go back to previous questions in this section until time expires. The screen for section one is divided. The stimulus appears on the left, and the question prompt and answer choices appears on the right. For some subjects and some questions, the stimulus, question prompt, and question choices appear in a single pane. In the AP English exams, when a question references a line number in prose and poetry, the text in the passage that applies to the question is underlined. You can drag the slider to the left or right to adjust the size of each panel. And you can zoom in or out using keyboard shortcuts, Command plus minus or Control plus minus on a computer or laptop, or by pinching and zooming on an iPad. Within a section, you can mark for review any question you want to come back to later and use the question menu at the bottom of the screen to navigate to any question in the section. You can highlight and add notes to text in the passage by selecting the text and choosing one of the available colors and underline if you wish. You can also add a note to the text you highlighted. Any notes you leave yourself or on the scratch paper you're provided will not be scored. Click the arrow to hide your note. Click the arrow again to view it. You can eliminate answer choices. Answer. And change your answer to any question in the section until time expires. Click the More menu to access help and additional features, including keyboard shortcuts and information about assistive technology. If you finish the section before time expires, you'll see a review page that shows you any questions you marked for review or left unanswered. Use your remaining time to finish your answers and check your work. When time expires on section one, you'll move on automatically and you won't be able to return to these questions. When section one ends, you will see a break screen and a 10 minute break will begin. Follow your proctor's instructions for leaving your seat. A battery indicator displays your device's charge. At the end of the break, 
a Section 2 directions page will appear. Carefully read the directions, and when you are ready to begin Section 2, click the Resume Testing button. Section 2 is the Free Response section. We'll use AP English Literature and Composition again as our example. Just like in the Multiple Choice section, a timer will count down the time remaining in the section. And you can move back and forth between questions in the section until time expires. You'll enter all your work in the text editor on the right side of the screen. You can use features in the editor to format your response. And cut, copy, paste the text that you enter. Text from the passages cannot be cut, copied, or pasted, and your spelling will not be checked. But don't worry, spelling mistakes won't affect your score. And just like in Section 1, you can resize the on-screen text, flag a question to come back to, highlight and take notes, and use the question menu and skip ahead or go back to previous questions in the section. Your responses are saved as soon as you enter them. So, you'll see what you've typed if you leave and come back to the question. Use your remaining time to finish your answers and check your work. When the time in the timer expires, answers for both sections will be submitted automatically, and you will see a final page confirming that your exam is complete. Several of the fully digital AP subjects have unique exam formats and additional question types. For example, a long essay or a document-based question or a short answer question. Let's start with the short answer question type. Short answer question types are used in AP History, AP African American Studies, and AP Seminar exams. Let's use AP World History Modern as our example. For AP History exams, when time expires for Section 1, Part A, Multiple Choice, Part B, Short Answer will begin after a short pause. Part B includes two short answer questions and one short answer question with two choices. You can answer the questions in any order and move back and forth between the Part B questions. Type and format your responses to questions one and two, and choose between questions three and four. When time expires for section one, Part B, the break will begin. Another question type is document-based question or DBQ. DBQs are used in AP History and the AP African American Studies and AP Psychology exams. Let's again use AP World History Modern as the example. After the break, Section 2 begins with the document-based question, DBQ. Select the document number to display the document. And type your response. AP History exams include a long essay. In the long essay part, Choose one long essay from three options. You can change your selection at any time and your work is saved. And you can go back to the DBQ if you wish. Reference information for the AP Computer Science Principles, AP Computer Science A, and AP Latin exams is available in Blue Book for both Section 1 and Section 2. To access, click the Reference menu. Then expand the relevant topic. In addition, the proctor will provide each student taking an AP Computer Science Principles, Computer Science A, and Latin exam with a printed copy of the reference information specific to their exam. In Section 2 of the AP Computer Science Principles exam, students will respond to two questions related to the code in their personalized project reference. Students will have access to a printout of their personalized project reference while responding to these prompts. And finally, the AP Seminar End of Course exam consists of three short answer questions and one long essay question. We hope this video has given you a sense of what it will be like to take a digital AP exam. To learn more, students and educators can access the digital experience and preview sample AP exam content for themselves by launching Blue Book, signing in with a College Board account, selecting the test preview card, and choosing one of the AP exams to preview. 
Thank you for your interest in digital AP exams. Best wishes for a great school year and good luck with your AP exam.